In this video, we will demonstrate how you can get payments from users with PayPal via Bitform. From the Bitform dashboard, create a new form if not exists already, or select any form to use the PayPal. We have already created this form with some fields to use. Let's drop a PayPal field from the toolbar. It's saying to select config from field settings. We already have two PayPal configs in the app settings, but let us see now how to make a PayPal config. Update the form and go back to the dashboard. To create a PayPal config, go to the app settings and then payments. These are the two already created PayPal configs. To create a new one, click on the plus icon and then PayPal. You will need the client ID to set up the PayPal. For that you have to go to your PayPal developer dashboard. Log in if you need to and then select My Apps and Credentials if you are not already on that page. There are mainly two types of app, Sandbox and Live Mode. You will have to create a live app for real-world transactions. For this video, we are going for Sandbox for testing purpose. The default application is from PayPal. If you don't have any, click on the Create App button to make a new one. Set the app name as anything you want. Select the app type as your preference. We will go for Merchant Type for demonstration. Click on the Create App button and copy the generated client ID for that app. Now go again to the bit form and paste the copied ID. Set any name for your config and click on the Save button to use it in your form. Now if you go to Payments, you will see your newly created config for your PayPal. After that, go to your previously created form to use the config and setting the PayPal. In Bitform, you can take subscription type or one-time payment by PayPal. If you set it to subscription, you just have to set the plan ID, nothing else. You can change the language of PayPal as your region, we have given you all the options possible from PayPal. If you want to disable any specific debit or credit cards, you can do it from the disable card option. For a one-time payment, to set the amount we have two types here, one is fixed which you have to set it from the admin dashboard, and the other is dynamic which the user can write the amount or select any of the predefined value from a radio button. First let's see how the fixed amount works. We will go for the dynamic option later in this video. The same goes for the shipping and tax field also. We also have all possible currencies in PayPal, which you can change anytime from this settings. You can also give your payment a description for the users. After doing all your preferenced settings, update your form, copy the short code of form or use the block of bit form, and go on the front end to test if everything is working. Now I will demonstrate to you, if I am the user here, how will I submit it and do the payment. The form is now submitted, now if you go to your responses, and then in the related info section of that entry, you will get all the payment transaction information of your user. In this section of the video, we will show you the uses of the dynamic option of PayPal field and BitForm. The dynamic option only works with the number field and radio button. With this feature, you can dynamically take any type of amount from the user. Also, if you have any payment fields in your form, you can remove the submit button from here. Because the form is auto-submitted within the completion of the transaction. 
Now we will demonstrate to you again from the user perspective, how I can pay the dynamic amount of my own. We have added tremendous amounts of customization for the PayPal field and bit form. Try those at your pace and make the payment from the user more dynamically. Thanks for watching.